Hey guys, this is the Dark Preacher, and welcome back to Cthulhu Awakens. So, <laughs> I've had quite a morning. I've had to restart my computer twice to try and get it to work properly. And during one of those restarts, for some very odd reason, Bandicam forgot that uh, I have a microphone. <laughs> so I recorded an entire episode of me talking about stuff, and absolutely no microphone audio. So, yeah. For some odd reason, Journey Map isn't remembering settings every time I log into my game. If I have it zoomed in a little bit, it forgets. But anyways, on with updates. Uh, still working on... 10, 10, 10 soybeans. Hooray. Um, oh, hey, a tree grew. That's good. Uh, if you can tell by my hot bar, I have... And no, I, I don't have blue steel yet. This is a black steel pickaxe. Heavy black steel pickaxe. The name is wrong. Um, I've been working on black steel stuff. I have... Ooh. Hello, lag spike. Um, I have opened up this area and moved most of my basic ore processing and crafting stuff down here to be closer to my supplies. Uh, here's my power setup as usual. I have the basic generator up there with the heat cable and the solar tower and all that. Still going like always. And I've still got the water wheel down here. So. But one of the things I did when I recorded that episode, the lost episode, basically, is long tunnel, right? Very long tunnel. And at the end, you can tell it's, it's daytime right now because you can see the fog for the desert biome. But we come down to the end here, and there's a wall that I made. Well, <laughs> there's a reason for that. This is a dungeon. And down at the bottom, if we take a second... I mean, it's not skeletons, because you'd hear the bones rattling, and it's not spiders, because you'd hear the spiders, and it's not zombies, because you'd hear the groaning every time that one of them spawned. No. This is a special dungeon. This is an Abyssalcraft Shadow Monster dungeon. And yes, they do take fall damage. Come on now. Die so I can show the nice people what you drop. There we go. Yeah, this is 26 blocks down. And they drop these Shadow Gem shards, which, if you take nine, you get a Shadow Gem. Which you can use to make energy pedestals if you get monolith stones. Which the only way to get monolith stones is Shogoths. Because they build them. Yeah. So I have to go find Shogoths. I don't know if I should try doing that on camera. Or if I should try doing that off camera? I don't know. But yeah, I've, I've been mining like a madman. Trying to get the resources up so I can keep making steel and keep making black steel. 
It's a pain in the butt, let me tell you. <laughs> I cannot wait to get to the point where I can start making the uh, plastic so I can make the miner. Uh, let me see here. I did actually at one point. Here, let me. I built the pump jack. There's a reason why I just gave myself it. I built the pump jack legit. Okay. Here is the recipe. It takes Mine Fantasy 2 blocks of steel. And it takes iron struts, electric motor, diamond drill. The diamond drill takes iron struts and three diamonds. Well. Electric motor. Oops. Electric motor. Not too bad, right? here but it takes steel to 18 19 20 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 ingots of steel to make this thing and as I've shown you all in previous episodes it takes a bit to get steel now I place it in the world. The model looks awesome. Uh, currently harvestable by pickaxe, right? Where'd it go? That's a bug, by the way. Um, here, axe. Come here, tree. Let me ask you a question. There we go. Cows are doing fine. Cows are doing just fine. It takes a lot for trees to grow down here, though. Might just add a little bit more. Right. There we go. Um, but yeah, I made the shadow monster mob spawner trap down there, I showed off what all's going on down here, explained my plans for this area. I'm going to add in some more of these shelving units, because quite frankly, they're pretty cheap. They hold a lot of stuff. They're, they're searchable. It's like a giant chest with a search bar, except it doesn't take power, like AE2. <laughs> but, What I want to start on next is this guy, Central Craft. I want to get working on that. I need to make a soul stone, which means I need blocks of emeralds. I need a block of emerald, and you throw an emerald on the emerald block, which means I need to go out and find emeralds. That might take a bit. Because currently I'm trying to work on machinery and trying to get tools going. I currently have four. Four emeralds. Is there a way to make them? Possibly. Um, Emeralis seeds, but I need silk touched emerald ore. Geranium, redstone adendrum. <sighs> that would take a while to get to. So, I need to go out and I need to find emeralds. I need to go find shogoths, which means a lot of exploring. 
So this is going to be a shorter episode because, quite frankly, I need to get this edited, rendered, and uploaded today because it's going to be today's episode. Um, another thing that I found that I, I don't think Teddy's gotten around ner- to nerfing this yet, but these foods do not have a food group yet. So, a blackberry jelly sandwich, apple jelly, blueberry jelly, PB&J, they don't have food groups, and they're all pretty good food. I mean, you can make those sandwiches with cashew butter, walnut butter, any of the nuts, even chestnut butter. I don't know why you'd want to use that, but uh, yeah. I've still got my forge set up up here. I'm going to have this be my blacksmithing area. This is all going to end up being kitchen, uh, research stations, and farm. I'm going to expand this some. Um, you know. Gotta get used to all this dirt. Down here, trees. I'm going to. <sighs> Pardon me. I'm going to eventually expand this out for the cows. Because, quite frankly, I can't fit very many cows in here at, the, at this point in time. Hi, cows. Hi, cows. I've still got. Power gen going on down here. I've got power gen upstairs. This is going to be storage, and eventually I'm going to have the magnetic craft machines in here. So that's the thing. Because those things are huge, they take up a lot of room. But the best thing about them is they're quiet. Oh, that was annoying. <laughs> Phone call. From an automated system about student loan debt. I don't have any student loans. I never had any student loans. I didn't go to college. I spent four years in the Marine Corps. That was my higher education. Oh, what were they doing? Ah, right. That's just... That's just flat out annoying. Okay. Uh, where did I put those? I could have swore I had some machine housings. Hello, Walter Girl. Um, ma. No. 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 Ma. No. Come on. Come on, gang. Mush. Nice. Huh. Woo. That was weird. I could have swore I had machine houses. Hmm. Nope. 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 Where did they go? I know I have machine houses. <sighs> Yet again, the curse of the blind YouTuber strikes. What the heck? Yeah, no, my machine housings. Was I stupid and stuck them in the fridge? No. What the heck, gang? Where did my machine housings go? Please don't tell me something ate them. Huh. 
That is so weird. I had machine outtakes. I know I did. I know I had them. Hmm. Dang at it. Well, I need to make some more machine housings, it would seem. Because obviously the ones I had just up and disappeared. But, the reason why I was looking for them is because I need them in order to make multi block chassis. Why this takes a machine housing and four black steel plates when the normal recipe gives you like eight instead of one, it makes it very, very difficult to get anything done when you only get one. I mean, yes, the control only takes one, but some of these machines take, oh, about a dozen of the multi-block chassis, and that's just for the smaller machines. And the cheap way to make black steel plates is with two ingots by hand. Polymerizer control? I need that to make plastic. Multi-block components. You only use that for Two, two magnetic craft machines, and you get multiples, right? That's not bad. So, since this is going out today, after I get done recording this, I'm going to send a message to Teddy, telling him that basically there's a balance issue with the multi-block chassis because for this amount of materials I mean it takes four steel plates an iron frame which takes another ingot or two of steel itself plus carbide ingots and a rolling machine to get a machine housing and then you add in four black steel plates, which the cheap way is two ingots by hand, and you only get one? I mean, it, at least make it so that you get at like four or eight. I mean, if you're going to go through all this, pro all this process to get to that, you need more than just one. It makes it kind of uh, makes it so that way the player kind of doesn't want to actually make the magnetic craft machines. And the magnetic craft machines are awesome. I mean, you you can triple, quadruple, even quintuple your ores if you have the right setup. And the power production is awesome. Once you get plastics, you can make the miner, which is a heck of a lot cheaper to go around getting than trying to build the excavator from Immersive Engineering, and I know that's in this pack. <sighs> and that's just the tech routes. I mean, I still need to upgrade this book so I can actually, you know, get to some of the more complex stuff for essential craft. But anyways, this, I know, I haven't done anything except show off stuff and complain about stuff, but it really upset me that Bandicam forgot my settings and decided not to record anything. So, 
I had to scrap an entire video. I had it all recorded, all ready to go, and it didn't record my mic. So, oh, um, with the heavy pick, let me just show you guys this real quick. Um, preferably someplace where there's not a bunch of dirt and gravel. Iron. I'm seriously on the hunt for iron right now. I need it like it's going out of style. Because in order to make black steel, to make them multi black chassis and all that, you need a boatload of iron. Boom. The heavy pick. 3x3 three three area. Too deep. So, there's a bunch of mining I need to do. Oh. What the? Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Um. head down here real quick. There is the current complex in this pack which puts all sorts of little buildings and such in the world, right? Let's just get down here without dying. And sometimes it puts things underground. Like this. There's an early source of netherrack and a bunch of lava. Not bad, eh? And there's a chest in the middle. That's early loot. All you gotta do is get down here and dig to it and then open it up. Which, I already looted that, so. But... Be on the lookout for something like that underground. I mean, and it makes a huge room. First, it puts in the room, and then the normal terrain engine comes through and puts in whatever is going to have there. So, first, it made the room, and then the ravine cut right through it. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for me. I'm going to collect up my iron that I had dropped down there <sighs> and go have a little talk with Teddy possibly and have a little cry over my microphone not doing what it's supposed to and uh, as always I'm the Dark Preacher this is Cthulhu Awakens And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.